Ah, Slim, I love this place. You see the hole here someone's been digging? And look at that. Ooh, I got bedrock. Actually, it's caliche, which is an artificial bedrock. And you got schist in there, whole conglomerate of material. Now, there's a secret to the gold that's out here. A lot of people don't know it. I'm going to tell you what it is. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but there's actually two timelines here. There's a newer gravel and an older gravel. I know, if you look it up on those reports I gave you earlier, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Now, the gold is in the older gravel, which is down below. And the newer gravel, which is on top, has no gold at all. But a lot of times, that newer gravel's washed away, and you can metal detect out here for nuggets. Now, also, remember I told you that there's meteorites out here? Well, it's true. There's a strewn field all through here. It runs south to north, and it also goes across the, the river over there. But they find meteorites out here all the time. And if you're running a VLF, you'll find them too, I guarantee it. But right now, I need some gold. So come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, now. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, anywhere you're gonna be prospecting, especially if you're running a dry washer, is you gotta sample. Cause if you don't know what's in that ground, you're working for nothing, and that ain't no fun. Okay, so obviously somebody's been digging here, and they dug a lot, so they must've got something here. So what I'm gonna do is, I got a, a number four screen right here, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a little sample out of here, right next to the caliche. And I got some nice decomposing schist in here. You can see all that. And nice iron oxide down around the bottom. Ooh, look at all that decomposing schist. And it's sitting right on top of a false bedrock. Yeah. What you wanna do when you get your sample is you wanna get it close to that false bedrock. In this case, it's caliche. And what I'm gonna do later is I'm gonna get a backpack and suck it all out, because I know there's gold in there just waiting for me. So come on, let's go. Ooh, yeah, all right. Let's see what we got. They must have got something, because they were digging a lot. Remember what I told you, stratify that material so anything heavy goes to the bottom. Lightly wash that top layer off. Swirl, shake, tilt. Remember, if your booty ain't shaking, <laughs> you ain't working hard enough. Now remember, I'm telling you, it's so important to sample everywhere you go. Because if you don't, you're just digging for nothing. You gotta know what's in that ground before you do anything else. Because if not, you're just wasting your time. And that's time you could have been using to get gold. Ooh, man, there's a lot of black sand in this material. A lot of magnetite. I know I'm going kind of fast. But that's okay. Wow, that's a big piece of magnetite. All right, that's as far down as I want to get. Let's take a look at that. Let me see if I can get that. To... All right, here we go. Ooh, I should have went down a little bit further, huh? I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can't shake that down. Ugh. Let's see what we got. Ooh, I see a little piece. I saw it. I saw. Ooh, look at that. Hiding underneath all that black sand. Yeah, that's gonna be our spot. I don't know if you can see that. I'll get I'll get some of this water out. Ooh wee, okay. I don't know if you can see that. Right there where my finger's touching, that's a nice flake for our first sample. And I see a whole bunch of little itty bitty tiny pieces up in here. But that's the, that's the piece right there I'm concerned about. Cause that's not bad for the first sample in that area. Ooh wee, so what I'm gonna do is if Slim would help me, is I'm gonna set up the dry washer. Because I'm gonna dry wash that section and then later I'm gonna backpack it because if there's any gold from the last guy, he probably dropped it. And it's there for me and Slim! So come on, let's go! <laughs> yeah, come on, baby, give us some gold!
I'll tell you what, no two ways about it. That'll work, you high slim. That's right. <laughs> Whew. All right, now, what are we going to do? I still got a little daylight left. I'm going to take the backpack, which is that white bucket over there, and I'm going to suck all this up. Because if there's any heavy gold, it's going to be down there on the bedrock. So come on, <laughs> let's go. Here we go. Man, I tell you what, that'll work you. All right, now I got all day's work right in here. Yeah, just dump it in there like that. Make sure you get it all out. Okay. Remember what I told you. Classify it down. It'll be a lot easier. Don't get rid of that. It might be gold in there. All right. Now the moment of truth. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of boots. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what. I can't imagine trying to do this in summertime. Woo -hoo -hoo. You'll bake your brains out. Stratify that down. Man, that is a lot of black sand. Chunky too. Just the way I like my soup. <laughs> Nice and easy now. Some of that gold is pretty small. I should have got some jet dry. But I forgot to bring it today. All right, come here, take a look at this. Hopefully I got some gold. I don't know if you can see that in the sunlight. All right, ooh, I got some pieces of gold right there. Let me shake it down real quick. Get me excited. Man, that magnetite's thick. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of it right there. I don't know. Here, let me get that in the sunlight for you. I don't know if you can see that. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of chunky pieces right along the top there. There's a bunch of garnets in there, too. There's a nice chunky flake right there by my finger. I don't know if you can see that. There's a whole line of it right there. I'll see if I can clean it up a little bit for you. large magnetite out of there there you go there's a nice chunky flake right there I don't know if you can see it there's a whole bunch of finds I know there's some more inside of this black sand there's a piece right there try to wash some of that off for you there's some wire gold in there too There you go, that's a little better, I guess. Get some of those chunks of magnetite out of there. There's some gold right in there. Right along there, all along there, little tiny pieces. I hope you can see that. Ooh, that's pretty. That's real pretty. Woo! Well, I knew there was gold here. Not like there is over there in Lost Basin or the King Tut Plasters, as they call it. But there is gold. But you really gotta work your hiney out to get this shiny. Woo -hoo -hoo. Ain't that right, Slim? That's right! <laughs> oh man, I tell you what, it's been one heck of a day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's short little episode of going to King Tut, aka Lost Basin and Gold Basin. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me and Slim a comment because we like to know what you think about all this craziness out here. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com. Save us gold that you want. It'll be gold that you're chasing. Grab your backpack, a dry washer, and head out to Gold Basin. Take care, everybody. The lure of gold can make a man do anything. Anything. You stay the hell out of my mind, laddie. It's down here, Andrea. I'm gonna find it. 
and anything can happen when you're after the mother <laughs> Thinking about that girl? What are you thinking about the gold?